we study now shadows and its kinds but before we go on to this it's important for you to understand what exactly is shadow if you have source of light for example like sun and if you have an opaque body to obstruct the rays for example if you are standing somewhere on ground then you are obstructing the rays of the sun which would otherwise come so it will just come from that end where it is allowed by your body and this area where light cannot enter because your body is obstructing this will cast a shadow, shadow on the ground so there has to be a source of light there has to be an opaque body to obstruct light and then there has to be a screen which is in this case is ground where actually the shadow is formed shadow cannot be formed in thin air it has to have a screen which in this case is ground now we see that shadow consists of two regions one is called umbra another penumbra so to understand this in detail let's see a figure here you have light source sun there is an object here and purpose of this is to explain what is umbra and penumbra so umbra which is total dark region in black shown here this total dark region is called umbra and outside of this the region of partial darkness which surrounds umbra is called penumbra let us understand this how it happens through ray drawing ray will travel from light source which in this case is sun and will come towards the object so to draw a ray diagram you have a big object here like sun and then you have a you have opaque body so you should choose two rays always from one end to the two extreme ends of the object so I choose the first ray which goes like this and the second ray that you choose from here will go to the other extreme end of the object which is this here so you have covered the two extreme ends from one point of the source so if we were to consider just these two rays then this region would have been dark but rays are coming from other side so if you see we analyze they are actually coming from every part of your source towards the object so it is best we consider the other extreme end here then all other points are in between and they will be automatically covered by our ray diagram so if you take this then we take this point which is the other extreme end of our source which is sun in this case and you draw the ray diagram from here so I take this it goes and it comes here and you take the other ray from the other extreme end which is this side goes like this so what you observe is that this is the region which is not covered by any ray no ray will either from this side or this side or in between anywhere can come in this region and that's why this region is of complete darkness however these regions here have some rays coming from the other side so for example this region is being illuminated by the rays coming from this end so this will this will be partial illuminated area 
with little energy of light similarly you will have little energy here and this therefore is called penumbra now this logic if you have understood of ray diagram creation then you can easily understand many cases that you will have different cases for example if you have to study formation of shadow when extended source of light is smaller note it's smaller than opaque body so if I take let's say this is a source of light then your opaque body will be bigger than the source this is source here and this is opaque body but you need a screen to cast a shadow therefore we will draw the screen also and this for example is the screen here and we will see what kind of shadow is formed when you have such kind of a scenario so we will go by the principle studied here we will take two rays from two ends of the source two rays going from here and two rays going from here one ray traveling through this point on the screen the other ray here and similarly we will take the other point so I draw the first ray join source this end go like this and this case takes the extreme case in between rays cannot travel because opaque body will stop it the only ray that can travel next from this point is this one then you will have ray going outside also so these two rays are the two extreme cases moving from the two ends of the opaque body all rays in between will be blocked by opaque body if your source was a point source then this entire region would have been your sh shadow but it is not a point source you have light rays going from other parts as well so I take the uh, next extreme end and if I can take case from this side then we have tackled all the cases so I take this it goes like this here on the screen we'll extend the screen a little bit and the other ray we'll take from here from the other end of the this so if you see this area this area will have no red light ray coming from any part of this extended source we have taken this end as well as this end and no ray, ray can reach here intermediate rays obviously cannot reach this point so this region where no ray can come is complete area of darkness is called umbra whereas this area where partial rays are coming from the other side this will be penumbra now we take a new case in previous case source of light was smaller but here we will take source of light bigger than opaque body so this is source of light it is bigger than opaque body and this is your screen the fundamental principle will remain the same we'll take a ray from one end and we'll meet this end with the other one this gives us one then the other from the object 
and now we'll take rays from the second side the ex other extreme end and we have drawn one we draw the second one now so the area of light area where no light reaches is this and therefore this region here will be umbra because no light reaches and the region here is penumbra naturally compared to the previous case when the source is bigger than the object umbra has become smaller now if you shift your screen towards right this area will get further reduced and if you keep shifting this back then a stage will come where you will see that there will be no umbrage the way we are creating it now in fact this is how region of umbra keeps decreasing and the penumbra will keep increasing like this like this here now imagine a case where you have sun which is a very large source of light is on the top and you have a very small bird and on earth if you want to see the shadow it won't form any shadow for the simple reason that case that we have studied here object is very small penumbra region will be so small that umbra region will be so small that it won't cast any shadow on the ground here is a I'm drawing the ray diagram through the object one ray then I take the second ray small object now I take rays from this end I'll extend ground a little bit because it's becoming bigger and I'm taking the other ray from the other end you see now this is where umbra has very small umbra and therefore if you are so far away you won't see the shadow there's no area of darkness on the ground because complete area is illuminated by light umbra has shrunk as very small penumbra has covered the entire region that's why birds do not cast a shadow when they are flying under the sun on ground 